Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a brand new Lenovo laptop. This is one a client brought it in and was asking if I could upgrade the RAM for this model. This is a Lenovo One 14 ADA05, also known as a Model 82GW. That information can be found on the bottom sticker. And this one, they do come with a 4 gig RAM and Inside the task manager, if you check, it will tell you that it has a, a 4 gig RAM and it says it's slot available one of two. That means there are two slots in there available. Even if you check on the command prompt, it will tell you the same thing that uh, there are two slots available. Unfortunately, I have no idea why Windows has a problem but, uh, of detecting the actual physical detachable RAM dims or anything like that. And I seen a comment, people like, no, my CMD says that, command prompt says that I do have two RAM dims and on the task manager, it says that it does. So I'm making this video to show you guys, you cannot upgrade the RAM on this model. The RAM is a solder on the board and is non replaceable or upgradable. And I'm gonna actually take my time to open it up and show you guys and that there is no RAM dim available in here. All right, to open it up, first you want to flip all upside down the laptop. You want to grab yourself a screwdriver set. As always, I use the iFixit screwdriver set. Uh, we're going to be using a Phillips number one from this screwdriver set. You can get the Pro version, which will include you with an opening tool and tweezers and many other stuff, or you can just go ahead and grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick are really suitable to do this job. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna remove all the screws at the bottom cover. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. And let's switch back to Phillips number zero. Number one is a little bit too big. And we're gonna remove all the screws. Again, as I said, the screws are the same size and height. So keep them in one big pile. Also, if you guys like my videos and if it's helping you guys out to understand or up upgrade or anything like that, you can support the channel by subscribing and clicking like on my videos. I really appreciate it. There we go. Once we remove all the screws, all you need to do is grab this, the opening tool. You want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. And all you need to do is twist it towards the outside. Do all the front side. Run yourself in the front. Do the left and right side a little bit. You want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest. And you just want to twist it. Do the left and the right. Once you do this, you can just grab it and wiggle it around a little bit. It will snap out of the place. And there we have mostly empty space, no fan, just a heat pipe, a simple battery, and there's no RAM to be found. There is no space for a RAM dim in there. The RAMs are right here on the board, soldered on the board, right under the plate. And we know that the RAM dims are just like this. So there's no way a RAM dim can stick right through there. So there's no even available, anything like that. So it's nothing right there, nothing right here. No, no RAM dim, nowhere to be found. Okay. So there it goes. Showing you guys the insights. There's nothing you can do about the regarding the RAM. So that's a. Uh, if you guys thinking that you can buy it and you can increase the RAM, then you are out of the luck. So there's nothing you can do in this case. All right, to put it back together, just grab the bottom cover, bring it over, and just snap the sides. Push down really hard on the back side. Make sure you hit those clicks, the front and the sides. And the last thing would be to just grab the bottom screws and just slam it on the top. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.